Tulsi Gabbard uh, announced that she is running. And, you know, we've mentioned on this program, like, I, I think my, uh, the threshold for when I think someone's um, stuff in someone's background is problematic changes based upon what position they're going for. Fucking smeared her. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you run for Congress, there's 435 of them, is that what it is? Or, and, um, you would know that. And, uh, <laughs> 452, whatever, somewhere around there, I can't remember. The um, and, you know, there's so many, I can barely remember the specific number. So if you run for Congress, the, the threshold, but if you run for president, and you, um, you belong to a, I mean, a hate group, or you speak in front of a hate group, and you, uh, there's a little bit of cult in your background, um, and maybe your foreground, uh, I start to get a little nervous. Like, I don't, you know, I don't want anybody from the fellowship uh, to be in the presidency either, right? And so, um, but there's other people who have different opinions, and uh, because Some of Some people who oppose, who oppose fucking war. Right. Um, I have some issues. Oh, wait, this, with this, her. this clip is rich. All right, well, let's just play this. Uh, because this is really uh, part of our core brand proposition, too. Uh, I give you uh, Jimmy Dore upon the announcement. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, have you seen the interception in the Humanist Report coverage of Tulsi? I love Tulsi, but if you read these pieces, you will learn some uncomfortable truth that true lefty in the journalists have pointed out. Looking forward to it, Lorraine. You know, we're all about reading about Tulsi and learning more about her. Because Tulsi identifies Hindu, I need to hear from her about her stance on Modi fascism, a lot of Islamophobia, imperialism in Kashmir, and whether she agrees morally with the case system that is incredibly sexist against women. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. Um, I don't have any answers. I can tell you one thing. I think there's one thing I couldn't care less about. It's uh, what's happening in, in India. <laughs> I, I mean, how does that affect me? Uh, there's lots of bad governments all America around the world. First. Why should I give a shit about another one? I don't understand. Right? Isn't that like saying, like, hey, Assad's not a good guy? And? So I, we should have troops there? I don't understand. I, none of them are good guys. Look what fucking Israel's doing to medics on their border. <laughs> what, who, who's, that's our ally. Turkey's our ally. Look what we're doing in Yemen with our ally Saudi Arabia. I mean, so this idea of somehow the, the, the people in the, oh, we got her because she likes a guy. And we're in fucking bed with Saudi Arabia. Yeah, no, well, I, that's just ridiculous. So you're gonna have a different litmus test now for her than you have for every other fucking president? including Barack Obama. So why do you oppose all those other governments? <laughs> why do you care what happens in Yemen? That's now, hold on that a second. Is more sure. Stupid. That's not their version of their parody show, right? <laughs> <laughs> I would never say anything that fucking stupid. We just couldn't change the logo. Um, uh, the issue is not that she's Hindu. Like, I don't think she deserves any specific uh, extra uh, scrutiny because, but it's her, what she has done and her so, affiliation. So you cannot trust the Hare Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> At the airport, they'll try to kidnap you. Because <laughs> a nice boy in my neighborhood in Worcester, he became a Hare Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> And he just ate vegetables and never called his mom. <laughs> Do you see? It was very, very bad. That, was, that stuck in my mom's craw for a long time. <laughs> like literally, 30 years later, be careful at the airport. <laughs> uh, but um, aside from that, uh, I don't know really how to respond to something like that, where you just, the, um, the desire for Tulsi Gabbard to be somebody that she's not is extremely intense. Um, and... Well, she does go surfing. That makes you a progressive. That's pretty cool. Um, the... Uh, yeah, it is. It's three o'clock. Woo! <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Do you imagine if somebody's like, oh, hi, I want to talk about your view of first principle, uh, it's like, it's 2.45. Put down the phone, Sam. Let your people leave. Stop torturing them. The drop. <laughs> actually articulate those words like, I'm surprised you didn't say I don't give a fuck about what's going on in India, or, and, and I don't wake up in the morning and turn to the India section of the paper. I do. Uh, but I know you do. <laughs> but um, this is pretty uh, stunning stuff. And I think like, you know, this is, uh, you know, I think an example of what a uh, concern that we've had for a long time at our show and why we spend so much time sort of uh, policing, uh, you know, frankly, Jimmy's show, it, I don't think it's terribly effective. Uh, it, that video will get 150,000 views and there'll be a lot of people out there who, you know, uh, Jimmy Reefer Cake will send in a song next week that Woo! will... <laughs> Sing about Do people think we should ban Jimmy Reefer? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's not as overwhelming as you come no. People don't think we should ban him. Wow. Yeah, there's been ninety percent in the middle of everything. Yes. <laughs> and just you're like, whatever, well, just go on with the show. Uh, you just fucking clap. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he's also a guy who's done a million videos on Syria, and a couple of weeks ago was just like, bro, bro, Nava, the Kurds. I didn't fucking know that. He literally didn't know about the Kurdish areas. He's not a leftist. He's not a leftist. Like, well, I think he's, I think he is ideologically left. I think he's just not somebody who likes to read. <laughs> Are you saying he's a dumb dumb? I think he can read, but I'm not sure. <laughs> No, like people complain about leftist on leftist violence when we make fun of Jimmy Dore. If you don't care about people all over the world, including on the other side of this bullshit thing we call borders, you're not a leftist, sorry. Woo! Um, well maybe this is a good time, you know, when we're talking about identities. Um, to uh, share something with you, uh, folks. Um, there's been a lot of talk about this, and um, to have an audience this size, I want to um, uh, share with you something that's been on my mind for some time. And uh, we're gonna play a video that I think uh, I'll have a little bit of an announcement to make. Here it is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the show. Hi, I'm Sam. You know, many people have been asking me about what my future plans are going to be. Well, I'd like to take this opportunity to make an announcement. I have decided that I will be starting an exploratory committee <laughs> to look into running for the 2020 Libertarian. <laughs> to the 2022 senatorial nomination for the Democratic Party. And so I will be looking into an exploratory committee to look into running for comptroller in Columbia County, New York State, as a moderate Republican. So there it is. For the next two to six years, I'm going to go on a listening tour to listen to you, the various voters, to tell me what I should do. So until then, I hope to see you, or rather, hear you. <laughs> sent this to the office.
Uh, my, my calculus is if someone sends me a banner uh, that uh, suggests I run for something, uh, then I'll run for it. So, <laughs> that's how it, uh, how it works. All right, I want to talk about this. We've been talking about this in the office.